I got a woof of it. Just instant. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Najima Chanel and I do beauty vlogs and motherhood videos here on YouTube. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be telling you all the things, spilling all the tea about what they don't tell you about pregnancy. Our bodies go through so many changes during pregnancy. It truly is a beautiful experience, but it's also very hard. Unless you're one of those women that just have the most amazing, most blissful pregnancies. But honestly, it can be a real challenge. I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I've learned or experienced during pregnancy. Um, hopefully this video can either, it can prepare you if you are early on in your pregnancy, if you plan on becoming pregnant, or if you're going through these things right now, you can just relate to it. So let's get started. So number one, food aversions. Now we all know about morning sickness, which really should be called morning, noon, and night sickness. But there's something called food aversions. A food aversion is basically where you can't stand to eat certain foods. Even if it's something that you usually eat, it can become a food aversion. I personally experienced this with meat and dairy and just about anything I put in my mouth. Like I had a really, really bad experience with this. Like I couldn't even keep water down. Like water, ugh. And I honestly kept thinking I had HG, which is hypermesis this, which is a severe type of morning sickness or nausea that can cause dehydration and weight loss, which leads me into number two. So we talk about weight gain during pregnancy, but we don't really hear too much about the weight loss during pregnancy. With not eating much from the nausea and throwing up basically everything you put in your system, you can definitely lose weight. Me personally, I lost about, I lost between 20, 30 pounds during pregnancy. I looked pretty good, but I felt terrible. Number three, so going back to aversions, smell aversions. Smell aversions are so real. Your sense of smell is so so heightened during pregnancy. I had a terrible experience with this. The house that we were living in during the first, pretty much half of my pregnancy, um, it was a rental. And I felt like I could smell every single person that has ever lived in that house. It was so terrible. Like it was so bad that we literally, we had to move. Also stay away from garlic. I'm just, I'm warning you right now, just stay away from it. Someone cooked some garlic bread. I got a whiff of it, uh, just instant. Uh, it was terrible, it, just stay away from garlic. I'm telling you, I'm warning you right now. I looked it up, it's common, it's a common smell aversion. Just stay away from it. I'm Just save yourself, I'm telling you. Now we've always heard about weird cravings. I personally didn't have any weird cravings, um, but I did have like an attraction to food that I never, never had a desire for, like red meat. I've never eaten red meat in my life. But that bacon was smelling kind of good. Like it was, it was smelling kind of good. Like I couldn't help it. Like I'm trying to get see what that be like, right there. And eggs. I don't remember ever liking eggs growing up. Like never. But now I eat them practically like every day, literally like every morning. While we're on the topic of food, it brings me to number five. Something that I discovered while being pregnant that was really, really interesting was that it can actually reverse food allergies. Years ago, I used to drink sweet tea like every single day. Sweet tea was my jam. But I started breaking out in hives when I would drink it. I formed an allergy to it, so I just cut it all out. But during pregnancy, I had a real craving for it. I broke down and I went to McDonald's and I got me some tea. Nothing happened. I've been drinking it every day since. But I looked it up and it is true. Pregnancy can reverse some food allergies. Number six, some people can experience a metallic taste in their mouth or just like a weird taste in your mouth. And you can also get like excessive saliva, which is what I experienced. I had like a, kind of like a weird taste and a lot of saliva. Like there was a point like early in my pregnancy where I just had to pretty much like keep a water bottle or like a cup, it's very nasty, to spit in. And just between all the nausea and the throwing up, my mouth just felt disgusting. I was always producing a bunch of spit, so. <sighs> Did you know that you could produce colostrum while pregnant? Yeah, girl, it's crazy. See, I was under the impression that you didn't produce any milk or colostrum until after the baby is born. But no, you can actually produce colostrum as early as 16 weeks, which is actually when I started. Number eight. So we all hear, we all know that you gain weight and we hear about swelling. But I didn't know you swell like this. Like, it's scary. It can get scary how much you can swell up. For me, my hands, feet, and ankles swelled up. Like, I literally couldn't put shoes on. I could only wear slides. I actually had to take my wedding ring off because my fingers were so swollen. They were swollen so much that it left an indent of where my ring was for months. Like I'm just noticing that it's gone. The worst part about it is I lost my wedding ring from taking it off. 
Number nine, sleeping is the most uncomfortable thing. You can't sleep on your stomach because you're sleeping on your baby. You can't sleep on your back because your baby's sleeping on your lungs. They say prop up with pillows, but then your chest is in your knees and it's terrible. Number 10, complexion changes is something that I don't feel like I really heard of um, before being pregnant. You know, you get the linea negra, you know, the, the, the line down your stomach, but I actually got this spot um it's like around right here i'm gonna insert some pictures that lighten just randomly and it, it actually made me start to wonder if i had vitiligo or something and now that i look back at it my underarms were extremely dark too and of course i looked it up and it is something normal it is something that does happen during pregnancy because of hormones and number 11 if you're pregnant you've been pregnant you know everything is hard to do standing up out of breath laying down out of breath and trying to do anything below the belly forget about it it's, it's a workout pregnancy is a wild ride with all these crazy and weird things that that happen to your body but i promise you it is all worth it once you get to hold your baby and for whatever reason you forget all about all of the bad stuff you went through and you want another one but i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button down below if you did let me know in the comments what was or what is the weirdest and craziest thing that you've had to deal with during pregnancy if you guys enjoy content like this hit that subscribe button and help me to reach my goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and i'll see you guys in the next video Subscribers, subs subscribe, subscribe. Something don't sound right.